subscribe to Fat and Broke. Xin chào, what's up everybody? That's Hello in Vietnamese if you're new to the channel. In this video today, we are going to talk about the subway project. It has been pretty much delayed for one more year. This project has been ongoing for about 11 years. The delay to anyone living here and that has been following the subway metro project is no big surprise, really. And should we be upset about it? We're going to dive into this and talk about it and really go into detail about it. If you're new to the channel, I'm a guy that lives in Vietnam. We travel around the world, mainly in Asia right now. And we do a lot of things based in Vietnam. And I do a lot of Saigon news and things that are going on. So yeah, let's jump into it. Pretty much what happened is it got delayed about one more year. Ho Chi Minh City's first metro line is expected to open in July next year according to a revision of the project's plans, which have already been delayed three years. The updated plan for Saigon's metro line, number one, was mentioned in a report sent to the Saigon Department of Transport by the Management Authority for Urban Railways of Saigon on Thursday. The opening date is based on the fact that the metro line is 96% complete and a test, run, a test run along the entire line was completed for the first time last month. Now let's go ahead and walk down. We'll do a little uh, show off of, of the subway and the upcoming stuff. I am privy to the subway line from multiple directions from where I live now. And they have been testing the track extensively. Uh, you know, do I think it's really that big of a deal that they delayed the subway another six months to a year? Not really. We didn't expect anything different, to be honest with you. There's a lot of problems with it. A lot of things happened in COVID. This is one of the main sites and one of the main underground sites for the subway metro line. So this had a lot of construction going on over the past 10 years. This was all boarded up with blue walls for a long time. So this is all progress as far as I'm concerned. We'll get there. You know, I think without COVID, we probably would have had the subway up and going a couple of years ago. You know, I don't think it's going to make a particularly gigantic change when the subway line goes live. You know, it's only one line, pretty much goes from, you know, Golden River. Oh, where does it go? Yeah, it pretty much goes from Golden River. Or no, it goes from here. I think it pretty much goes from here all the way to, uh, I have the picture of the fucking, freaking, fucking, the fucking map right here. Yeah, it goes from Benton. So it starts at Benton Market. So the line starts right over here, Benton Market, and it goes all the way to District 9 through Duck City. And to people that think that it is over in District 9, that the new VIN homes that like people are buying into and think is great is by the subway, it's not. It's nowhere close to the subway line. You have to take another bus. That place is not convenient, and it's very hard to convince me of that that's a good place to live. I don't care if I have a family of 57 kids, that is in the middle of nowhere out there. And the, the what you save to what it, you get, uh, it's the same anywhere. It's just like, you know, I was just home in, uh, in Indiana and you know, you're gonna get a lot for what you get where it's at, but you're in Indiana, you know, you're in the, not in a desirable area. You know, you're not, you're not geographically great anywhere. You know, one thing that really shocked Wynn, and we're gonna do a video about that today, is the traffic, you know? And we're gonna specifically talk about that in that video, so I'm not gonna really divulge into that. But, but yeah, so I mean, do I think it's a really big deal that the line got delayed? And did I think it was probably gonna happen for sure? So if you do wanna see the America trip, I've already shot a video prior to this about all that with the channel update, but if you missed that, and if you do wanna see what I was up to for the two of the weeks that there is no YouTube videos. Uh, we shot all the American content for the Patreon. So if you go over to patreon.com forward slash fat and broke, where there is 75 other kind souls on there supporting me, uh, you can see the content of America. You can have direct access to me. You can also take a private tour when you are in Saigon if I happen to be in town at the same time. So yeah, let's divulge back into the, here's a nice little family on a vacation here, going into the mall as you should. Uh, malls are very integral to your vacation here, especially if you have a family. Uh, you'll want to cool down and they're a great place to do it. And they're everywhere in the 
tourist area of District 1. So, according to Saigon Department of Transport Plan, single ticket prices on the train will be calculated based on travel distances. Those who travel five kilometers will be 49 cents. It's super cheap. I mean, you can't beat that price. 10 kilometers are going to pay uh, 14,000 and uh, 15 kilometers, 18,000. So, I mean, the prices are all, as far as I'm concerned, those prices are all Gucci, you know? So, can't beat a Scoochie Gucci. Let's go through here real quick while we're talking about this. So a little bonus content. You know, when I talk about something, a lot of guys that, that do information, especially in Vietnam, um, you know, I don't watch many people that make content here, but the few that I've seen that do, like, say if they were going to do a video about, like, what I'm talking about right now, they'd be sitting down and uh, talking to you. So I think it's pretty cool that I actually grab a camera and we go out and look at stuff as I give you uh, news updates. How they're packed in here. A lot of tourists. Excuse me. This place has gotten expensive and it's gotten very non-negotiable. Uh, you can negotiate. It's just going to take you a little bit more hmm, effort. They're a little bit ruder now too. I don't know. This place has always been kind of rude, but like it's even more rude now. But to the counterpart of that, you're going to find the best stuff here. If you, want to actually get souvenirs that your family's going to like and that are going to last and like a good copy of a Louis V. This is a place to get it, man. You're going to pay, you know, 30 bucks for it, but yeah, you heard me. It shouldn't be more than that. Like one of those Louis V bags, she'll try to sell for like a hundred bucks now. And they're like 20, 30 bucks, dude. Let's get out of here. And just a quick little, you know, ad content. I'm trying to diversify, like, even when I do news, you know. The whole channel's going to change. Again, I already talked about that in, in another video. Lots of nice copies of bags here. But, like, right now, in America, you can get this stuff, like, you know, go to an outlet. If you're in America and you need North Face or something, just go to an outlet. Like, I went to an outlet and I got everything I needed. Like, you'll see me wear it in future videos. Right now I have, if you're new to the channel, I've got like a hat on that looks gross and an old shirt, but you know, it's 100 degrees out right now. And I'm gonna be sweating profusely. I'm filming videos. I started my first video at noon, you know, in 100 degree weather in a tropical environment. So I'm not gonna wear my new clothes or a nice new hat and get sweat all over it and make it look gross. We should have an exit around here somewhere. Prior to the newest revision of the plan, the train line was to be completed in late 2021. It was delayed due to the COVID-19. According to something, a few more matters regarding the design and height clearance need to be resolved. So a lot of electrical needs run. Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it, bro. Have a good trip, brother. Thank you, man. Oh, man. Have something. They suck, man. Uh, just filming. So, uh, the authority said it is in cooperation with the relevant parties to meet the proposed plan. Costing over 43 trillion dong. The city's first metro line spans 20 kilometers from Benthon Station, District 1, to Long Bin Depot in Thuduk City. Uh, shout out, homie, if you're watching the video. Sorry, I didn't have time to stop. So, uh, yeah, if I'm filming in the middle of the video, yeah. I'll stop maybe if I'm doing a Patreon and just add it as a Patreon video for an interview. But. The city's second metro line connecting Benton Market and Tham Long Canal set the break ground in 2025. So, like, they haven't even procured the land for the second, the second, <coughs> excuse me. I've never used to sneeze in threes, and now I sneeze all the time in threes. And I've never had allergies or anything, but... So, like, my big thing is, with just the one line, it's not going to be a very great 
metro system guys you know there's going to be people that are of course gonna you know what's going to happen and again i'm going to shoot a video on this because people aren't understanding the gravity of it is apartments like vin holmes golden river are going to be insanely expensive guys when that thing opens you know i'm going to go over there and film and you'll see you can literally get out of the subway and you're in your apartment in Vinholm's Golden River in five minutes. Like we're talking subway doors to your apartment door in five minutes at Golden River with the, with the way the subway stop is there. So, I mean, in the future, you know, in 10 years, you're talking, it's gonna be crazy sick, like the Basan area and like this area, District 1. Like all that's gonna happen here with District 1 is this is gonna become more and more expensive and more and more better and more and more desirable just like every single city that i've ever lived in you know I've, i'm pretty always good at finding the hot spot or even an up and coming spot you know and then watching it explode which is what's going to happen here you know my guess is they're about to open them again i don't want to talk about it too much but they're about to open the new apartments next to golden river i'm going to do a whole video on that so i'm not going to really talk about that but those will be a game changer too. Lots of tourists, guys. We're seeing a lot of tourists. That's what I like to see. A lot of hot white chicks. Oh. Just joking. So yeah, I mean, that's really what my opinion. Let me show you, there's one more. So this is where the subway starts. Where's the entrance? It's right around here. It's right around here. It's on the other side, so let's walk the other side. Uh, there's a plan to overhaul Bentham Market with like a million dollar budget. I think they're trying to get together like two million and it's going to be government. This is a government. It has some kind of government running into it. It's not like it. it I didn't make sense of the document, but like some kind of lease deal maybe thing type deal. We have talked about uh, the leasing and owning of the stalls in Bentham Market before. So if you want to find that, you'd have to look through back old videos that's really it nothing new with this over here uh i don't think there's much more i can really add to it you know i think that's it if you got something to add you let me know i'm back baby you're already gonna see the update about this so we don't need to update that of course uh we talked about the patreon i do now have the bella box i will be live streaming on 1080p through a 1080p camera so if you want to check that out it's on kick.com forward slash fat and broke thank you guys so much back to daily uploads uh as of now so thanks for watching stay frosty we'll see you on the next one peace out